Today is April 12, 12.33 p.m. And we saw some unusual options on JD, ticker JD. So um, wanted everybody to know about it and also show you what we did for this trade. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, keep in mind the... Uh, the Williams percent R indicator shows that it is oversold. You'll see here on this, and then you'll also see back here when it has it can stay oversold for some time period, but then it did eventually come back up, and once it hit overbought, it did drop back down, and you'll also see um, here when it was close to getting over bought it did drop back down but there was earnings here that could have influenced that as well so keep this in mind in the technical context of it all and then let's take a look what did the unusual options tell us today so um, you'll see here at 1207 um, the April 21s there's 2500 of these contracts okay and so uh, and then at 10.11, there was these May 19s, 1,000 of these contracts, okay? So what do they all mean? Well, uh, let's take a look. Here we are at April 21, um, right here. So you'll see the strike price 41 and 42 here, uh, nine days away. And so we believe they bought this. That's why we are also in the same position, uh, buying the 41 strikes uh, and then selling the 42 strikes, okay? So uh, also keep in mind here, this volume is greater than the uh, open interest on this one. However, th on this side, it is less, okay? And... Uh, now we take a look at the other unusual options for the maze. You'll see here the 45s and the 40 calls. Um, let's take a look, May 19. You'll also see here 40. And you'll also see that we um, sold it. So we also think um, they also sold it. That what they're doing here is they're selling a call spread. So you'll see here, this volume is greater. It's an open order. And then here it is less. Uh, this 45 here is less. Okay. Um, and so when we take a look at this, the, there, it's actually at a um, ratio. The way we did it was also the ratio of this You'll notice here that it was a 1 to 2.5. So what um, you could do is you could buy five of these Aprils and two of these uh, for every two of the Mays to create the same ratio of a 1 to 2.5, right? Since you needed the, a whole number, to get a whole number, um, you have to multiply this by 2 and this. So that's also what we did. So if we look at this trade and you were to analyze it, where you would sell this further dated away um, to create a call spread, and you'll see that here. And then we can, um, because this, is, this trade has a positive theta because you're selling the call spread, right? in case it um, drops. However, in case it rallies in the next nine days um, because of this oversold condition, um, you can buy some of these um, calls. They're going for currently $9, um, you'll see here. And so if you put these two together, so that's, without that, it, it looks like this. Um, it's a big negative one theta, right? You put that in and now um, it looks like this. However, you want to adjust the ratio, right? So it was a one to 2.5 since you need a whole number. 
you put that two and you put this uh, for five of them right so you'll still get five divided by two is also 2.5 so you get the same ratio of a 1 to 2.5 and so then the trade then looks something like this where if the um, if it rallies you'll see here you'll be able to profit over here from these price ranges from for the price of 41 to 46 so and if it drops continues dropping below 37 you will not be at a loss because you sold those uh, call spreads here okay so the only way you would lose um, is if it stays in this range from here to here which is this 37.5 to about um, 41 and if it rallies too much over $46 here then you also lose but it would have to rally um, within these nine days when these uh, um, bull calls here these bullish calls expire by then right so it has to um, if, if, if it rallies here within those time period past that yeah you would you would be at a loss past the 46 so let's take a look where is 46 46 is all the way up here so it would have to rally past this so uh, nine days could it rally uh, past that and um, maybe so if it does you could start to see that happening and you could cut your losses or you if you think it's going to stay around this area which is very profitable right so keep that all in mind um, keep your alerts on if you are going to trade this you could easily for example at the 46 level right click and you can create an alert uh, if it goes above 46 you can remind yourself like maybe close something like that and it will alert you so um yeah and then uh and so that's the that's the trade here and and uh and since you look at the greeks here you'll see that um this trade will um it does have a slight negative uh, theta however any movement up or down is going to change the theta to a positive okay so that's the thing the, the movement of this trade as it starts to move in these uh, nine days the theta will actually start turning positive um, so that's something to to keep in mind because we were able to sell this call spread taking some of that credit that we got by selling it using some of that credit to buy these cheap calls which is basically um, trying to take advantage of a potential um, rally in this range to profit from this as it so um, this 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 price range from um, 41 to 46 is going to be our profits or it could just drop continue to drop um, way below all the way here you see here back in uh, October of last year it did drop down to $33 so there is that up potential that it does drop back down to support here at this level here so that's why um, we have these selling these call spreads just in case to um, um, make sure that if it to kind of reduce our risk with that okay um, okay so if this video was helpful please give us a like and uh, subscribe hit the bell icon you'll be notified whenever we see these unusual options uh, it really helps our channel grow so we can keep providing content for everyone to uh, know and learn all about unusual options as a trading strategy all right thank you and take care everybody